Hello everyone, Rachel Moore here, and I have an exciting update from Facebook, and I want to show you how to use it. At long last, after years, Facebook has added the capability of making a recurring event in Facebook. I know, right? Before, you've had to go in and make one event post for each separate event. Even if it was a recurring event, nothing much was changing with it. But right now, I'm going to show you how to set up a recurring event in Facebook. It's actually really easy. Let's hop in. So I'm going to put myself over here in the corner. Um, so what you're seeing is a page that I manage, and it's called Business Unusual. This actually um, is for a live stream show I do from BeLive.tv, as well as a podcast I generate that goes out on iTunes and Stitcher and Google Play. Now, one of my dilemmas has been that each week I have an event that I do, and I have a show. But... Um, I have, it's really problematic and sometimes difficult to hop in and make a new post for every single show. I'm very strapped for time and I'm sure you are too. Here's our workaround. So I'm going to create an event. Now you should notice this. I want to point out right away you've got this brand new thing here. So I can create an event, but look, new, add multiple dates or times for this event. Yes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to leave the event photo because that actually works for me. Actually, you know what? Let's change it up. Uh, I'm going to hop in here and find one of my promo cards for that event. Uh, let's see, ready for business education. There, I'm going to use this one. All right, so I'm going to hop that in here so that people can kind of see what this is about. I'm going to pop that up there. Uh, sometimes you got to have to kind of mess around if your thing's a little too big. All right, um, business unusual happens. It's a uh, show, live stream show on the live.tv. Okay, so I'm going to put in here. It's actually happening. Actually, I wonder if it'll let me tag them. .tv. That doesn't look like it, so I'm going to have to put this in here, so I will um, add the link that I use. Always good to have a URL that will take plate people where you want to go. All right, so this is going to happen, um, and again, I do want to set up more dates and times. So here's what we're going to do. So it's coming up this this uh, next Tuesday, June 6th. It also lets me add the time. It's going to start at now. It's, it's basically populating in. These aren't your only options. Don't get thrown off. You can actually just enter in an option. There you go. It's going to start at 1 p.m. Again, local my time. It's going to end at 2 p.m. I'm going to add that time in. Now, you have to make sure you click add time. Otherwise, it's not going to do it. Now, look. I could add another time on that same date. I don't need to do that, though. I need to go to the next week. So now I'm going to add, oh, and look, it already populated in 1 p.m. So you want to do that first date. If you have um, repeated dates but the same time, enter that first date first, add the time, and now if I keep adding, it's already going to make it populate in so I don't have to keep doing it. Isn't this awesome? I'm going to do about two months' worth, you know, because you, sometimes you want to make sure you're not, you know, everything changes. I hit done. Oh my gosh, that's great. Oh, it's recurring now. So now you can go in and add the rest of your stuff. Um, but again, isn't that fantastic? Now you can go in and in one full swoop, make sure you have a good uh, graphic that isn't specific to one of those dates. It needs to be kind of all encompassing for every date you're doing. But again, if it's the same event happening in the same place, same time each week or each month or whatever, Use the recurring dates to be able to save yourself some time and get those things in there. And the great part is Facebook events work so great because people can subscribe to your events so they get notified each time. If they like your page, they'll see new events happening. They can post within events. You can live stream within events. Awesome. So this is such a timely, well, a little too long overdue, but hey, at least now we have it. Now you can schedule repeating events in Facebook. Have a great time with that. I hope this was helpful. Please uh, comment below with any questions you might have. Also visit realty.social if you want some more insights and help with your social media. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy this new tool.